Okay, so I'm here today to talk to Dr. Sides about this new study on statins and something called C-reactive protein, and um, got to find out what's going on with this whole thing, so that's why I'm here today. Hey, Dr. Sides, how's it going? Hi, Paula. How are you? Oh, pretty good. How's it going with you? Just great. Excellent. Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this um, the study that came out this weekend about statins. I mean, my takeaway on this was that, you know, the C-reactive protein stuff is really important. What do you think? Well, we've known about C-reactive protein for a long time. It's a protein that's in the bloodstream that is elevated anytime there is an inflammation or infection in the system. And we know that heart attacks are often associated with inflammation before they occur. And so there's been a lot of interest in whether measuring this uh, protein can predict people who might be at higher risk of heart attack or stroke. And indeed, uh, that seems to be the case. So part two is now whether treating that, treating C-reactive protein, can actually have a benefit. And so this study, the Jupiter study, was designed to take people who have elevated C-reactive protein uh, and see if by treating them with a statin drug, you know, those drugs that are out there that are used for treating cholesterol, things like Lipitor and Crestor and Zocor, uh, could uh, improve the outcomes in these patients even if their cholesterols weren't particularly elevated. And indeed what was found was that if you take that group of patients and treat them with, in this case, Crestor, their outcomes are better. How do you know if your C-reactive protein is high? How do you find that out? Well, the only way to know uh, is with a blood test. There's a very simple blood test that can be used to measure C-reactive protein. Uh, but if you're interested in it in terms of your cardiac prognosis, you need what's called a high sensitivity C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein goes up uh, quite a bit if you have a serious or significant infection. And in trying to look at cardiac risk, you need to measure very small variations uh, in the C-reactive protein. So, okay, I don't, I'm not really overweight, but I, my cholesterol's up a little bit. You know, should I go get my C-reactive protein tested or, you know, what do you think? Well, I think like any blood test, like any test at all, you really need to decide with your doctor in advance whether knowing your C-reactive protein will make a difference in terms of your treatment. Uh, and uh, for many people, it does not. Many people have uh, considerable risk factors for heart trouble and their cholesterol is elevated and one would treat them with a statin regardless. And so in those people, a C-reactive protein doesn't help. On the other extreme, or the other hand, there are people whose risk of heart disease is so low uh, that even if their C-reactive protein were elevated, you wouldn't put them on a statin. You know, uh, uh, a young adult uh, who has normal blood pressure and doesn't have diabetes and doesn't smoke, uh, I, I think that one would be loath to put them on a medication every day to prevent something that even with an elevated C-reactive protein would be rare. It's really the folks who are more in the middle. It's the people who are at some risk for heart trouble, uh, who are more toward middle age, who may have a uh, risk factor, they may be a bit overweight, they may have a bit of hypertension, um, and you measure their cholesterol, and their cholesterol isn't particularly elevated, or it's borderline. In those individuals, if their C-reactive protein is elevated, we now know that you can achieve benefit by treating them with a statin drug, uh, where the objective is not primarily to lower their LDL cholesterol. And I think it's in this group of patients where this study uh, is going to have the greatest impact. So I guess my bottom line is go see your doctor if you've got any questions. Well, I think like in, like, when one considers any treatment, one always has to balance the risk against the benefit. And I think in order to understand the benefit of treatment, you have to understand what your likelihood is of developing the disease or process that you're trying to prevent. So 
you need to consult with your doctor as to what the status of your other risk factors are, whether you are at high, low, or intermediate risk, and see if adding C-reactive protein uh, as a measurement to your profile will make a difference as to whether your doctor wants to treat you with statins or not. Okay. Well, I think I got a better idea on this, Dr. Tides. Um I think I'm going to head out and see if I can get something done. But I appreciate your time. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Bye. <laughs>